Hello, fellow tributes. It's Captain Fire 3 with some Captain Falcon 64. It's literally Mario 64, but with Captain Falcon. And I will link this down in the description because it's it's kind of cool, actually. But just like Super Bros at 64, if you haven't seen somebody do a video on that before, uh, that can happen. And you soft lock the game. Damn it, I should have waited till I got inside to do something like that. Oh, great. Hold on, I gotta drown myself now. And, um, basically, instead of doing it when you're punching, like Super Bowser, where she punches and a fireball comes out, you have to press and uh, hold L until he's fully wheeled back. Reeled back, wheeled back, whatever. Uh, because uh, you just gotta be a little careful when you do it, though. And there are. With the link I'll give, it links it to, I think, the video. I think that's where I found the link originally. And what it does is there's different ones you can choose from. There is gold as you see right now and there are other variants of the skin like blood falcon or pink or blue regular falcon come on that's pretty gruesome that didn't help hold on a second let me just Okay, uh, so I'm not gonna do that again. But I had to restart. S I wonder. I have a s sneaking suspicion. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Oh, I can't. And to fucking kick, all you do is press um, the crouch button and the attack button. I can't tell you which ones they are except for the fact that it could be Z. But, I'm using a uh, Xbox controller. You know what? Screw this. I'm using an Xbox controller right now. Like a Logitech one, because that's like... The, the... Like right now, that's the only way I can play on... The N64 emulator I have. And no, I'm not speed running it with him. It's just, I know some ways to unlock the levels, some of the levels quicker. Uh, and I wanted to show off how exactly you can do that. With this mod, you can do that with Super Bowser, you can do that. I wouldn't say that Super Bowser, you should play and shit. Because it's actually harder to con control where the fire goes. Because if you go like that, like jump and attack, even if you're trying to dive, it'll attack something. So, it could very well ruin your gameplay and soft log it like I did one time. I was, I was playing it and, of course, what happened was... I attacked and I went into the very first cutscene with Lakitu and it killed Lakitu fully and there was no way other than restarting or just quitting completely. So I quit it completely because I already knew I was going to have problems with that. And I don't know, there's no double jump. I just tried to double jump and look where that got me. If I lose all my lives because he moves super fast, and that's not me holding down a button to make him go really fast other than the directional pad. Because it's, um, it is very hard to control with him going that fast. So if you want to play through it normally, I suggest you do that instead of just going straight to the Bowser battle first. But if you want the first key, trust me, you might want to do the battle first. 
uh, the uh, first Bowser battle first. Okay, this time I'm gonna be a little more cautious. Ah, uh, okay, or not. Hold on a second. Let's see. This is very difficult and very scary. <sighs> and then I'm gonna have to see Lakitu again, hopefully not at least, because I don't have a star yet. So if that happens, I'm just don't know what I'd do. Ah! Ah! No! Oh! 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 That was scary. The I thought the Goomba like fucked me right there. Like I legit thought that he it pushed me to my death instead of like helping in some way. But I did almost die originally. Mm, I died there now. Oh, there's no like game over screen. Please tell me. Nah, because it's a new file. What did I expect? But you basically get the idea. He can falcon punch anything, everything, and anything. But be careful where you do it because uh, some doors don't let you go that way and, and it'll like not allow you in there. And there will be an invisible wall keeping you from going upstairs for instance. I hate how he runs faster the longer you keep it, uh, the button pressed. I I'm just focusing at the moment. Okay, so I'm gonna be careful right here. Okay. Gonna be careful here. And then I'll see if I can get over there without like falling again. Okay. Okay, I got in. Now, you may be wondering, how are you going to do this with such bad controls? What the, What did I say about he could fu uh, fucking punch anything out of existence? It even works with the bosses. I think it works with King bob -omb. I can't remember, though. Oh, I don't get a star from him? I wonder if that saved the game. Oh wait, I forgot I needed eight stars to get in here and I didn't have eight stars. You can do it to any of the doors, but I don't recommend doing it with some of the doors or else you'll have to go into a level and come out. I do know it works with King Thwomp as well, but if there's a, a character in the I don't even need to unchain the chain chomp either. I I did this before. To, if it'll let me, it's not letting me. Wait, why wasn't it letting me falcon punch? Why doesn't it let me falcon punch over here? But it lets me. Wait, what's going on? Oh. There we go. I think my thing is lagging. Okay. I guess that's not happening. Oh yeah, and if you can't already tell, he doesn't have the best shadow. But I still got it. As always, I 
If you guys didn't already know, I always go to get this star first because it's like one of the easiest stars. Well, one of, in my opinion, easiest stars because all you have to do is release the chain chomp. But now I can go fully downstairs if I wanted to as well. I didn't fully play through it. As you saw, I had five stars, probably, if you saw that. I'm pretty sure you saw that. If anyone saw that, it would be people that were paying attention to the other save file. So I can also break these. But I wouldn't... <laughs> I, I don't think I could do it when I'm going up. Or maybe I could if I saw them ahead of time. I never launched him out of the cannon before, I don't think. Oh yeah, that's right. He he doesn't have what Mario has. He can, however, do that. He can climb up things like Mario again. Fuck you, King bob -omb. I bet he wasn't expecting that shit. I think the boss music is still- What happened to the star? Is it because I fell off? Did I softlock my s- God damn it. The star came out, I didn't punch it, but then all of a sudden it disappeared because I fell off. Okay, this time I'm gonna lure him away from the edge, I guess. Because I guess I was too close to the edge. Crouch and attack usually doesn't throw Mario that far, but with the Falcon punch, uh, with the Falcon kick, he launches pretty damn far. But it's nothing like the Falcon punch where it breaks everything watch I'll show you just an example it doesn't kill everything or not okay I guess I'm going down to do a demonstration on these guys okay never mind I'm not even gonna do yeah see I just went right through that I'm pretty sure yeah see there we go I tried to falcon kick right there and it didn't work He also can't um, slide back to do like a flip. Come over here, King Babam. Please don't tell me that it actually gets rid of the star too. It does. What? I figured out with oh yeah that's right <laughs> yeah the stars also go away with that okay let's try again but this time what am I to do what am I supposed to do because I did it to King Th King Thwomp or Big Thwomp or whatever the hell his name is and. The star didn't explode or get hit by it. Oh, I should probably because I was low on health, I guess. I wonder if nah that that's impossible. That would never work. I don't think I can kill King Babom with a Falcon Kick. That would be cool though if that was coded in. But he is a pretty tall model. And it's accurately, like, instead, because it's already an N64 model, it doesn't shrink down or anything, unlike the Waluigi one. There's also a Kirby one, but that doesn't do much. Please don't. No, please don't. Oh, did it work? Yes, I got the star. Oh, and I can't get the star from Ko Koopa the Quick if I do that. 
I'm just gonna... I'm not gonna... Well, I could. Oh, wait, I don't even have enough. Oh, yeah? I, I may not have enough stars, but that won't stop me! Do I want to go through here? There's no boss on... Oh, I couldn't even do the big penguin race if I tried to do that. I'm just looking for bosses, pretty much, for the moment. Oh, you know what I've never tried? I've never tried... Oh, it wouldn't be here, though. I thought I was going into the water level. But yeah, I have to be fairly careful. Uh, especially down there. Like, if I do it down there, I've done it multiple times where I've actually fallen. And it is pretty scary, if you ask me. Ah, oh, I thought I, I thought I was aimed properly. Because I found a way to pretty much s skip having to wait that. Ah, oh. why would you program? Maybe it's just Gold Falcon. But the only reason I um. I uh, played as gold or got gold falcon was because somebody called it pest falcon and I was like oh my god because it, it just works he's yellow he looks like cartoon piss okay I made it okay that was agony as you saw, but I clipped out. I don't even rem Hold on. Don't! Okay. And so I got that. And now it'll say I can get the three star doors open now. But I really don't care about that. What I care about is figuring things out. Like if I can, like, I wonder if I can destroy the ship if I'm able to falcon punch underwater. I hope not because I'm destroying that eel. So I don't have to swim down and then swim up. swims like Mario I guess but he's above the water and the collision is at his feet so that's kind of weird wait oh I can't well guess I'm going down just to go up again because this is the way you do it you just tap and then you go up and then he'll be swimming around. Well, I always go all the way up just so I can get my health back. And now you can see he is swimming about away from the ship. Oh wait, that that's a bad idea to just wait till I sink down to the bottom. But you can always test out different things. I could get out of this level if I wanted to and just do the last thing as... Hmm, I, I wonder if he jumps high enough for that. Uh, in uh, the ghost one, whatever it's called, it's um, I was thinking like, oh, you know what I can do? I can just jump up there, but I can't. But you know who can? Isabel and Isabel 64. Because she has a double jump in the game for some reason. Don't know why. 
but she does have a double jump which can get you all the way up to the second level before you're really supposed to. And then I try to get up as far as I can. Which is always about here. And since I've been playing a lot of Mario 64 on my own, I've actually gotten pretty good at it. I wouldn't say like speedrunner tier like good at it, but good enough where I know where pretty much everything is and what I'm supposed to do. Wait, is he not in here? Or is he just not rendered? Oh no, that's... Oh, I guess I'm a little too early for it. Because I'm supposed to be able to do King Boo. Hmm, what else can I do? I can go downstairs. That's right. But do I want to? Is there any point? I don't feel there's a point, so... Uh, I'll just go down anyways. I was about to end the video, but, uh, I think I can find some- I can find something right here. And then I'll do the second Bowser, and then I guess I'll end the video there. After this. There are some things I can't do in this. Like, uh, I've had to look up a few things when I played it. Like, um, in Hazy Maze Cave, there's not really a secret. It's something you have to do, but you can't really see it properly. And it's like this little doorway. But it's in the, it's like out of frame. So you have to like look it up and then look for it. That's what I did at least. It was very, very hard to find. At least for me. Because I was like, oh, right here maybe? And then I look, you know. Like what I usually do, like I'll, if I'm looking for something in the game and I just so happen to look up what it's supposed where it's supposed to be instead of watching where they go I look at the m map that they usually pull up and then I try to find that area on the map and waypoint it because if it, they can start from anywhere if they don't start from somewhere nearby you can always find like, by looking at lines that's how I found a lot of things on like GTA and whatnot I am gonna lose my mind you know what I want to try something and if if I can that's the end of the video I'm just ending it there and if it's not that it if I can't then oh thank god I was gonna be so upset if I could break this sub but also not because it would be kind of funny how do I even oh yeah why am I still trying to do this I know how to get up here because I've been able to get up there from that way before that's why okay got it I wonder why I wonder if coding it so it would it would be easier to get the stars if you punch something or break something like in in Super Bowser at 64 or something I that was a bad idea But I made it back. Oh. 
Just because I can didn't mean I should have. That's pretty much what happened right there. Oh yeah, sometimes you can slide like that, but it's only s sometimes. Oh, thank God. Oh, no. Oh, come on, no. Don't dip me in the lava. Just gotta be careful because he goes he goes too fast. Like I if I could program games for instance, I would not program it so you could like couldn't like stop yourself like like Mario usually does. And I wouldn't program it so you can break everything. But I don't think that's how that works. I don't think it's that e not that easy. Why? Oh, maybe it's because of the hitbox of Mario was programmed into this. Oh god, that scared me. The only th problem is you can't speed run it with this, but you can definitely use it uh, to get um only a few stars you can definitely use this mod for a speed run but I wouldn't recommend it because it would probably be a lot harder than it would seem I wonder maybe I should play through this by myself oh, I I broke it! <laughs> I'm so confused. I've never done that before. I think I like couldn't run all the way up. So I just quit. So he wouldn't like kill me immediately. Let's wait till the stable's up. Oh, I thought it did it anyways. If you like this video, leave a like, comment down below what you want me to do next, subscribe if you're new, and may the odds be ever in your favor. Uh, link will be down in the description to this, and if you want me to link you to Super Bowser at 64 or anything else that I may have mentioned from other games like Isabelle 64 as well, uh, comment down below and I'll edit the description to add them.